So now that we have set up the measurement in the dimension screen for the shaft align touch measurement, let me explain you how to carry out a measurement in the so-called active clock measurement mode. Active clock is one of two possibilities. Apart from active clock, we also have static mode with the shaft align touch. So basically, we first switch on the laser. The laser sends the unit which we have mounted on our fixed machine. I do this by pressing that pin switch, let me say, on the back side here for about a second. Subsequently, take off the dust cap. The laser beam now hits onto the dust cap on the prism. I see that there is still a little bit to adjust here. So what I do is I move the prism with the metal wheel here on my side in order to make the laser hit the cross on the dust cap centered as much as possible. I take off also the dust cap of the prism. Now I switch from the dimension screen where we had stopped into the M on the upper side here. The gray pieces of cake that we see are now the measurement positions that we have to take in the active clock measurement mode. So we do two things. We turn the machine for the measurement in its running direction. That is indicated by this white arrow here. And secondly, we're going to take point in as much of the gray fields as we see on the screen. So the first thing is I go into starting position. What we see is that I'm being asked to do a small correction of the prism in order to get the laser centered. So see the laser is okay currently. We see on the right side on the screen. So it tells me to adjust this metal wheel a bit to the down side. I do this. And in addition, this yellow knob, I'm required to move just as well. So now we are centered. We can start the measurement right away. I can either press the M in the middle of the screen or I can press the arrow to the right on the green ground. I press the M in the middle. You see, obviously, an automatically a first measurement has been taken and the according pi is now red. I proceed to the next clock position, that is 9. I hit the M. See also this measurement has been taken in this sector. I proceed to the next position, that is 10.30. I hit the M. You see the fan or pieces of cake we have, we have measured have turned into yellow now. We could call a result already, but as we have still way to go, we proceed with the measurement. To 12 o'clock, the M is showing, so I press the M. See, we have passed 90 degrees now, so we are green already. With the color of the fan, take the 130 position. Hit the M, proceed to three o'clock, press the M, and I'm going to take a last position that is 430 and hit the M again. So this is it. I can't proceed any further without the rods or the sensors touching anything. So I stop here. I press the white tick on blue ground on right side. So what we have received is obviously what you see on the left side on the screen. So we have a rotation of 263 degree. We have taken seven readings and we have a quality factor of 94%. The afterline touch in active clock mode allows us to, go, to take eight points of measurement. So we could have taken one more point and then the measurement would be stopped automatically. Likewise, I can also, if I have not an access for 
that high angle, I can take in one segment two or three measurement points. Again, the maximum number of points is limited to eight. So this was the active clock measurement mode with shaft-aligned touch.